Howdy, YouTubers. It's Dolly Wolf. Um, you know, I spend a lot of time talking about different religions and what have you, and one religion that I've kind of neglected has been paganism, and I decided, seeing that today is Maybon, which is the spring, or I mean the uh, fall equinox, I thought I'd talk a little bit about what pagans believe. Um, because, as you know, I'm big on everyone getting along and understanding each other's religions and you know I don't want to have any kind of bashing in my on my channel so I'm, I thought I'd give some equal time to the pagans today um, the the pagan year you know and when I say pagan I'm kind of using a generic term meaning any earth-based religions um, not just Wiccan but Native American and Celtic and Druid. Um, all these people looked to, looked to the natural processes of the earth to celebrate um, their lives. And the Wheel of the Year is a, a pagan ter term for the annual cycle of the earth's seasons. It consists of eight festivals spaced at a practice approximately even intervals through the year. These festivals are referred to by Wiccans as Sabbaths, and Pagans as well. These Sabbaths include Yule, which is the winter solstice, Candlemas, or Imbloch, Ostera, or the spring equinox, Beltane, Midsummer, or the summer solstice, Lamas, or Lugnasa, Maban, which is today, the fall equinox, and Samhain. In many forms of paganism, natural processes are seen as following a continuous cycle. The passing of time is represented by a circle or a wheel. The progression of birth, life, decline, and death as experienced in human lives is echoed in the progression of the seasons. Wiccans also see this cycle as echoing the life, death, and rebirth of their horned god and the fertility of their goddess. There are many versions of the story of the fertility goddess but, and the horned god, but here is kind of a generic version that I think most pagans will accept. At Yule, or the winter solstice, the goddess gives birth to her son, the god. This is also the origin of the idea that Jesus and Mithras were born at the same time of the year. At Candlemas, or Imbloch, she has recovered from birth, and the god is a growing lad whose strength increases with the waxing power of the sun. By Ostera, taken from the pagans and now called Easter by the Christians, which is occurring at the same time, the spring equinox, which is the first of the spring planting festivals, the maiden goddess and the young god are maturing, so now you can kind of think of them as sort of adolescents. At Beltane, which is in May, May 1st, in fact, May Day, when planting is truly underway, the adult goddess and god lie together. This ensures the abundance of the next harvest. At this time, the goddess is also impregnated, thus assuring the continuation of life. By midsummer, or the summer solstice, the goddess knows she's pregnant, and the god is at the peak of his power. By Lamas, or Lucnasa, which is August 1st. Um, this was a time when the ancients gave thanks for the first fruits of the harvest. The summer and the god are waning. It may ban, which is today, the fall equinox, the light begins to grow less and the god weakens in preparation for leaving this aging body and we are making ready for winter to come. Um, Samhain, which is October 31st, most often recognized as the Pagan New Year, it is also called Ancestor Night. It represented the final harvest when the crops were safely stored for the coming winter. As the veil between the worlds of life and death is thin on this night, we take this time to remember our beloved dead. The God gives his life up to the land and goes to await his coming rebirth at Yule. The wheel turns again, and the story of life, death, and rebirth of the god is the story of the land, the crops, and is also the story of each of us. Now, Maban, which is today, um, or the, you know, it's the fall equinox, 
It is a celebration of the end of the harvest. We find ourselves with a day of equal light and dark. At this time, the chase of Lure ends with the life or with the felling of the last shaft of grain. It is within this last shaft that Lu has hidden, but with his death, his sacrifice, we live through his abundance, which is very, you know, the whole idea of God sacrificing himself for his people around, um, was has been around a lot longer than Christianity, which is kind of interesting. Um, this is a time for thanksgiving, evaluation, meditation, Take stock in what you've received and get ready for the dark days of winter to that lie ahead. Um, some herbs that uh, people use in the celebration of Maybon are hazel, corn, acorns, oak, wheat stalks, cypress cones, and pine cones. The incense that they burn is most often myrrh, sage, or pine. The colors of this time are orange, dark red, yellow, and brown. And decorations include acorns, pomegranates, pine cones, and baskets of fallen leaves. Foods include breads, corn, cornbread, beans, squash, apples, and different kinds of roots like carrots, potatoes, onions, etc. And cider. So I hope that you found this interesting and informative, and I hope you all have a great day.